This is Die Sporting Network. What work? Now it's 
side. That was 
close. That could have went the other way. 59.2 seconds remaining. A six-point lead still for Pikesville. Trying to repeat as 1A champions. Trying to get their third 1A championship. And a row. And a foul there. And that's the 16th foul. One more. The one I want to be in the foul. for you. Coming your way. Checking the game on the number 11, Jasmine White. Look at Look at All pass. Got it. It worked. Shooting the one-on-one is mailers. Number two now on number 11, Jasmine White. That's her first team second. Shooting a one and one here. From Pikesville, number 44, Jaden Mills at the line, shooting one and one. Mills shooting a one and one here. Lead here to 6, 34, 28. 
director of athletics for Baltimore County Public Schools, Michael Saad. Also, principal of Pikesville, Eric Iceworth. Assistant principal, Sam Buckley. And athletic director, Dina Laverde. Amaya Moore. Coach Duke's third straight in a row. The journey, get back here to this game again, and then today, like you said, wasn't a Picasso, wasn't pretty, right. but the job got done. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh man, just tremendously proud, tremendously proud of this team and these girls. And I've had a few interviews with Kathy, and we just talked about how resilient this team is, and at, for me, and I know last year, ain't got proud a little bit after the game, <laughs> but this one is really actually the most rewarding one for me because I knew we were a little more, we were underdogs this year, you know, after we lost a few pieces and we know a lot of people counted us out going in and we talked early about to the ladies that you can't let those things define your season. And we thought we could be really balanced this year, and that's really what we were, just a really balanced team all year round. Jada, those two three-pointers back-to-back, I thought that was the turning point in the game. Can you talk a little bit about them? And Because um, they were doing a pretty good job keeping you guys a little off balance out there. <laughs> Speak loudly, please. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you just got to shoot them when they're open. Good. What's it feel like when they go in like that in the state championship? It feels good. You know, the crowd feels great. 
Uh, Coach, what, what did you feel about those two? Did you think those could be really a big turning point for you guys? Gave you a lot of momentum? A a absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I think everybody got charged up and fired up. And we, we needed a boost at that point. We needed a spark, and it was the exact spark that we needed, for sure. Darrell, how about the battle inside? I mean, you and Takisha were uh, battling the whole time. Can you just talk a little bit about that? I think they actually out-rebounded you, but you guys did a hooray about that one. Uh, there's two rebounds at the end that were pretty huge. Um, well, it was a tough rebounding her because she's um, getting bouncing around with it more. But I got my body over top of her, got my boots, and I'm ready to go. And Aria, tell a little bit about the defensive uh, job today. I mean, you, you played it on 23. I think uh, Mariah and um, Torrey played on her a little bit. Just talk a little bit about her and what you knew they were going to do and what you had to stop. She was left-handed, so I know I had to push her right. And I know that she's pretty quick, so I had to take a step back and just contain her so I won't foul or get close to anything. And it was, just, it was just about trusting myself to keep her contained so they don't score. And she was the main scorer, so I had to show them. Mariah, so what's it feel like as a freshman to have a big trophy? It feels, it feels really nice, especially to be a part of it with high school. But out of high school, we have family. And it's just, I just like being a part. It really makes me feel good. They warm me up my freshman year. When we got cool, we got all the wins together and losses together. We kept our head up and made it here. How about as a senior, Jada? Um, three championships. And you're right, you're up all three? Yeah, Just the last two. Okay, so you finished with two. What's it like? It was great, man. I mean, it's really family, you know. I love all my brothers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How does this feel compared to last year? It just feels, like you said, more rewarding, more special because a lot of people come to us out just because we lost people. But I feel like us losing and people made everybody step up and become more of a team. Oh. Um, talk a little bit about the, the uh, yeah, you, you said she was playing. You look at she was taking them late in the shot clock and, and, and you got a couple of those shots. Uh, I mean, we knew the key was really to contain 23, you know, having watched and scouted them. She's an excellent dog, you know. She's very quick. She shoots the ball well, but we know she still left and still favors to go left. So our game plan kind of all week in practice was working on pushing her to the right side and also trying to deny her as much as we could because we knew everything really ran through and I think they were really trying to get it back to her and it was causing them to get laid in the shot clock on the dresser. So, we did just an extremely good job really making her work all night. In the semifinals, uh, they got here by um, half a minute, the other two minutes. Did you pass that out and hit the free throw? How much was that an emphasis for you guys to stay away from the It was a huge emphasis. One thing we put on the board before the game was to um, be aggressive but stay disciplined at the same time. And we emphasize, don't reach, don't reach. We did not want it to turn into a free throw shooting. Coach, uh, let's talk about, you know, Lot Raven emerged this year as a, as a player. And y'all beat them, they had both losses. Hereford was a quarter away from playing in the next game here. And just talk about the Baltimore County uh, girls scene. Definitely about it. Delaney was definitely a player as well this year. Um, we're really pleased with steps that Baltimore County made. We were on the tougher side of the division, but nobody knew Lock Raven would be as good as they were. So we are we, we would ex we expected, um, of course, her if it could be good. Um, 
We knew Delaney had some nice pieces. Lock Raven was a big surprise. So we kind of had a four-horse race yeah. going on on that side. But we also knew, too, we played the toughest out of the county schedule out of anyone. And that's, we, we're prideful in that and we'll continue, we'll continue to do that in the future. Just really playing a tough out of conference out of schedule. We think it always helps us down the uh, down the All right, thank you. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. Yeah. three P. Yeah. yeah. One A. Okay, you want to just sit down? No, 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 just stand up. Okay. And Mike, once you get in the middle. Okay. Hold the trophy. Three P. This is Die Sporting Network.